Hello, 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 everyone. Ready for some Pokemon. I am. There we go. There we go. Was everyone tonight? You don't need to see. So, um, I kind of did what I said I was going to do last time. A little bit. I've leveled them up a little bit. I haven't leveled them up a ton, to be honest. I did capture some new Pokemon. Um, they just happened to pop up in the area where I was grinding. In this area. Uh, it's all, po all but one we've seen before. So, I'll show those off uh, later on when more people are actually watching. If more people come, who knows? See what else we get. We get citrus. Okay. We'll, we'll plant some low level berries or berries that we're low on. I do enjoy that this goes by my system clock, though, at least. So I don't actually have to uh, worry about planting stuff. Oh my god, the fertilizer option pisses me off right there. Like, you're not gonna... Okay. Hey, Stingray, man. How you doing? Like, you're not going to be... Uh, what is it? You're gonna be using plant berry more often than fertilizer, so you want that to be higher up. Yeah, hey, Stingray, man. How you doing? I did heal up my Pokemon, right? Yes, I did. One of the things I need to do is, uh, go through their moves. Go. Okay. Shorts are really comfy. You should wear them someday. No, I don't. Good God, I forgot about that horror creature. Which horror? Oh, yeah. Pinky? Pinky? Pinky's awesome, dude. Yeah, you, you were able to forget about it for a little bit of a time, but it's come back. It's come back with a vengeance. You can never escape Pinky in the brain, brain, brain. I swear, any time the Fei the Fei Ling comes out, its first thing is always to have Yawn. Oh, come on, Pinky, you son of a bitch. Yeah, okay. Anyways, how are you tonight, Brute? Hey, Sierra. How, uh, how was your uh, Sims 4 stream? I, uh, I was in there. I just wasn't talking. Tired and burnt out. I need a good couple days from code work. Dude, I totally understand. Except, you know, that's my job, so I have to do that every week. Every single day of every week. So, yeah. Uh, we'll go with Bugbear. It was good. Thanks for lurking. We started a home. Yeah, I was wa I was kind of passively watching it while I was playing uh, Monster to Rise. All right, Bugbear is now a fairy type. I forgot about that. I forgot Bugbear is a fairy type. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I saw Blaze playing that the other day. Yeah. Apparently, he's gonna do some Binding of Isaac stuff tonight. But you don't have to. That's the thing, Bird. You do it because you want to do it. Or you're paranoid and have to be to stay on a schedule like I do. 
That's what I don't want to hear. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I believe, uh, I, I want to play that with Blaze someday, uh, Rise, and maybe two other people too. It'd be, because Blaze and I are so used to playing it just the two of us, it would be really fun to have two more people to play Monster Hunter Rise with us. Oh, I got curb stomped last night, so my pride's gonna... <laughs> Don't want to take that sitting down. What happened, dude? I... Like, your streams are too late for me to watch, um... Actively, when it's happening. So... I tend to get backlogged by stuff. I tend to... I have too many things I watch. And I can only watch so much of it at work. So... It luck constantly being starved for resources. Oh, so it sounds like any time I play any type of resource game. Got it. Like Oxygen Not Included, which I stream on, on Saturdays. Look at that vlog. Look at that vlog. That's a perfect place for a battle. Okay. Gentlemen, Sir Goldhorn. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't use Bite. Oh, fuck. Come on, Pinky, you got- Oh, fuck, Pinky. Pinky! Pinky, my man! Why do you do this to me, Pinky? Why do you do this? You had one job, Pinky. And that one job was to fuck that Ekans. Fuck it like it's never been fucked before. But no, you had it. You just had it. <sighs> Pinky, there's a there's a there's a title that we call people like you in the biz, and we call you a uh, washout. I don't think that fish fucks snakes, dude. You never know, man. You never know nowadays. God damn it, fucking marshmallow now too. Fuck it, Marshmallow, you're going down. What are the ch Okay. I- I truly, truly feel like the chances for, like, flinching and for status effects are higher in this than it is in standard Pokemon. Um, it, it seems like instead of it being, like, a 10% chance for poisoning and stuff like that, it's, like, 30, 40, 50%. Like, the status effects chances seem way skewed. Tancoon. Okay, so this is one of the new Pokemon that I saw. This is one of the new Pokemon that I actually caught when I was grinding. It's a normal dark type, so that means it's gonna fuck Bugbear. Oh wait. My thing of it My thing of it the opposite way is is um very super strong against Dark? I thought Dark was strong against Fairy. Am I getting that backwards? Oh look at that. Look at that bugbear. No, Pinky's not gonna be able to. I was gonna be like, can Pinky do it? No, fuck it. Let's see if Pinky can do it. Nope. Oh, well, there was that. Oh. Ah, uh, you ruined my walking. Yes, I did. Fuck you, old man. I do say that was a jolly good show. I don't know. Fairy has such a weird stat matchup to certain types. I don't have it memorized. I know Fairy is weak to poison. And strong against... And it's uh, weak against itself, I believe, too. For some reason, I want to say Fairy is weak against itself. It's strong against Fairy. Er, dragon. 
why you must simply call me on the telephone so that we can do battle. Sure, why not? Oh, yeah, fuck it, we'll just continue on. Uh, no, that was a mistake. It's also immune from dragon attacks. Yeah, which is why I hate fairy types. Oops, sorry. I was for bumping into you like that. I was in a hurry to the Pokemon Center because some Pokemon attacked me and my team in Comet Cave. If you want to pass through it, it's better you find someone to go with you because Pokemon, they're attacking mobs. Well, good luck. Now, excuse me. Alright, then. I've been fishing all around Tandor, but this here bridge is the best darn fishing spot in the region. Yeah, fuck fairy. Well, don't literally fuck fa Whoa! That's new. That must be the vol form of the fat toad. Wow, this thing is so fucking tanky. It just keeps on pounding blaze. I'll, I'll leave you to uh, make up the context for that statement. If it's a total dial decided it wants some Pikachu cheeks, yeah, in in poison type. A total does it's a toxic total dial. So you know when they talk about toxic masculinity? Here it is in frog form. Yeah. Well shucks. Yeah. Wait. I just love to soak my feet by dangling them off the edge. Don't go doing that when there's tub jaw in the water now. The fuck is a tub jaw? Well, I'm gonna guess it's like a shark pedo or something like that. So crow gunk mixed with total doll. Yeah, yeah. Except this came out in 2016. So, was Crow Gunk released in 2016? We have to remember, we have, what, what Pokemon generation was 2016? Where was it? I feel like it was past Diamond and, Diamond and Pearl. I want to say that's still before Black and White, though. But I'm not, I don't know for sure. I'm training to be a comedian. Here's a good joke for you. What do you call a really short bridge? A bridge. Wow, you psychic Amari, you could not. Wow. Oh, seriously? Okay, Confusion is just the better move to go with. It has the chance of confusion. Pinky's gonna lose this one. Yes, it actually, since fairy types is a thing, it's pretty decent, like X and Y. No, I think they added fairy type afterwards. This game has been updated. But 2016 was when they released this. What Pokemon Generation came out? What Pokemon Generation was Pokemon game. Sun and Moon, what the fuck? Hi, hi, uh, Rhea. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, um, X and, uh, 
black and white was 2010. Black and white was 2010. Diamond and Pearl was 2006. I give up on life. I'm old. I, I'm... This, I'm old. That's it. Game over, man. Game over, man. I'm old. That's it. I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Work went well today. Um... God, I remember playing Pokemon. Oh, I'm an old man, aren't I? I hate it. See, like, I feel like the percentage chance of that happening is way higher than it usually is. You and me both, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. That's super effective, too, and in that hat. That's how much it did. Oop. Who's gonna win this one? Bugbear or that brain? Oh, it's gonna be Bugbear. Look at that. Look at that. Oh god, he's sending out another one. Alright, Bugbear, you got this. Bugbear, you don't got this unless you critic unless uh nope. Nope. Uh maybe special attack being Oh wait, no, that's right, yawn. Oh fuck. Well, Bugbear, it was nice serving with you. Uh marshmallow, sure. We can do uh leech life. Marshmallow, you got this. Oh my god, that did fucking nothing. So let's see, that did 14 damage, you gained back 3. He's gonna survive this. Look at that. Look at that. No! The, the chances of that are way higher than it is in San You're fucking with me. Look at that bullshit. Look at this bullshit. Right there. That is... That is bullshit. That is... That is the bullshit meter right there. That's the bullshit... Oh my god, look at that. Two. Like, two. This is before a lot of the weak fodder moves got buffed. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I do feel like the, um, the moves that cause status effects, like Confusion, uh, Burn, Poison, have a really high cha a higher chance than they normally do in Pokemon games. Was that a joke? A bridge too far? Yeah. You stop. Um, I also f uh, caught the evolved form of Monk. So we don't have to evolve a monkey anymore. So there's that. Um, what I might try doing is, I I was gonna say I might try catching every Pokemon, and then I realized no, I really don't care enough. I'll come up, I'll catch the Pokemon I come across. Yeah. It also doesn't say they are ID numbers easily, does it? So yeah, I caught I caught Fakachu, Nibbles, Chalky, and Taz. So, I caught those well, electric ground type. Okay, that's interesting. 
Yeah, Leech Life's power at this time was a shit 20 before it got buffed to 80. Holy shit, Leech Life's power get buffed to 80? Dude, that's like Giga Drain. Or not, not Giga Drain. That's like, uh... Giga Drain's like 120. What's the other drain? I swear there's a drain move that's... I got the smog wiki, dude. Yeah, holy shit. Bacall Forest Comet Cave Ahead. Okay. Okay, so that's that way. What's this way, then? Uh, fuck all. Gotcha. It's always good to do some training in the morning. Well, it's time to test if it was useful. It's night. It's literally fucking night, Black Belt William. I feel like that's an electric fighting type. I'm sorry? Is this a dark fighting type? Oh, you fucking had to be a, had to be a fucking dark fighting type, didn't you? Dude, Kinky or Kinky, Pinky is being like uh, stepped, being stomped on like it's his fucking fetish. <sighs> well then. Marshmallow, do your thing. It's a minky! No. Mar Marshmallow's fine in here. Mar Marshmallow's got this. Look at that. A few more ember embers and it'll be gone. If... Marshmallow survives this. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like the uh, AI in this game always chooses, has always has Pokemon that have, has really meta moves in this. And I don't know if that's just me, but it feels like all the time the failings use Yawn, all the, t and all, every failing has Yawn. All the Mankeys have Focus Energy and uh, Focus Energy and then Fury Swipes combo. Yeah, Leech Life funnily in turn from one of the weakest draining moves to one of, of the strong, one of the strongest ones because Giga Drain and Giga Punch are 75 power. Wait, they reduced Giga Drain? Green Kiss is 50. The only attack that remained it. Now the training isn't real. Yeah, no shit, the train's not working. The Pokemon are especially hostile in this cave. They're ganging up on trainers. For your safety, we won't allow you to pass. Is that a bright gym badge? Huh. You must be a strong trainer. However, I still don't think I should let you in alone. Oh god, it's Theo. Fuck. Hey, why can't I get into this cave? I'm not afraid of any Pokemon. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Wait, I know. Me and Jay can tackle the cave together. Isn't that right, Jay? Well, uh, okay. I guess so, but be careful. Wait, I didn't agree to this. Okay, here we are. I'll follow you till the end, then we'll split up. I'll do my best to keep our Pokemon healed. Oh. He heal my Pokemon. Wait, why you had... I, you can keep us healed? Okay. I found a poison barb. I wonder if there's any what po fish are in here. Oh, okay.
Wait, does Struggle Ball kill both of them? Really? Wow. Goodbye, Magikarp. Fucking hell. Okay, then. Yeah, water water gun's not gonna be super effective there, buddy. All the poke all the enemy Pokemon have extremely meta movesets, except my AI partner is never mind. Okay. <laughs> Did he just fucking instant transmission to me? Oh god, Tone Mies. Oh, he did heal my Pokemon. Uh, those are poison types, so they're weak. Yeah, Psychic. I was trying to remember if poison is strong or weak to Psychic. Wow, okay. Oh, level 16, that's why. Holy shit. Leave my poor fucker alone. My leave Pinky alone. This is actually if if he continuously heals my Pokemon after every fight, this is gonna be a really good place to grind. Like level sixteen Pokemon and thirteen. Like this would be a great place to grind. I was technically wrong. Dream Ritter is the strongest life stealing move at 100 power only to catch. Yeah, the only catch is that your. Yeah, the target has to be. A, yeah. Yeah, he really does just heal my Pokemon right away. Dude, this is. This is the spot to grind. Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay. I want I want that Kamite. That looks like a fucking uh cool ass Pokemon right there. Dunsparce can go get fucked. But it's hysterical. Leech Life has literally the same power as the Oblivion Wing. Oh my god. No! That Kamite looks so cool. Hey, at least you have done sparse. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Like, I'm thinking, is it even worth capturing this done sparse? Do I really capture the done sparse? Oh my god, really? Yes, I'll cap- uh, I'll capture the fucking Dunsparce, because why not? If I don't capture it, people will complain. I know it. I know if I don't capture this Dunsparce, someone will complain. Homeboy, they're definitely in need for an evolution. Yeah. It's drill tipped tail is used to burrow into the ground backwards. This Pokemon is known to make its nest in complex shapes deep under the ground because it's because it's ashamed. It's ashamed. Shame. I do want one of those comites though.
Ooh, that's good. No! Oh! <laughs> Fucking sturdy, too. Oh, you son of a bitch! I just want to come, I... Hold on, I'll use heart, so he'll take out whatever Pokemon he takes out. So I don't actually take... So I don't actually take out the Comite. Please take out the Grow Lizard. Please take out the Grow Lizard. You son of a bitch. You grow lizard, son of a bitch! My disappointment is immense, and my day is ruined. I, I, there's just infinite, infinite sadness. But yeah, this, this place, if I knew about this place, I would have grinded in this place just for the fact that I don't have to go heal at a Pokemon Center. I just can keep on battling. I don't, you know. Off to I'll start with this cave, lol. Got a Dunsparce. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I found a great ball because capturing a Dunsparce is literally a waste of one. Oh look, a Dunsparce. Really? Whoever takes out the tone me takes out the tone me. I'm not going to be too upset. Final yearn. Final learn yawn. Yes, we will get rid of heart for that. Let's see, what else could go wrong in this cave? Hmm, let's see. Um, I will never, never catch another Comite. I will never get another chance. Um, those things look cool. I, like, it kind of looks like a round psychic type or something like that, or a rock psychic type. Which two, I'm trying to think. I'm not thinking of another ground psychic type. I know, or rock psychic type. I know there's a Steel Psychic type. This Dunsparce is fucking tanky, man. Hi, uh, Jamin. You might... 
What do you- <laughs> you might actually want to use it because it's so tanky. Or are, are you looking beyond the veil? No, another reason? Alright, you're looking beyond the veil and giving me advice to take it and use it. Wait, hold on, hold on. I know you're not, you're, you can't be fucking with me on this one. Did they give it an evolution? No, they did not give Dunsparce a fucking evolution. No. No way. Ooh. All right. We'll capture the frog of evolution. Problem is, you gotta get the level 42, but it kind of turns into something fierce. Dude, I'm willing. I'm willing to go over the distance if it's if it's it's if it looks cool. I'll go the distance. Is. My partner is gonna take out the fro rog as in Theo. Theo is gonna take it out, isn't he? Okay, Brute, I want... I want you to go beyond the veil once more and check if I can actually capture its evolution, or do I have to evolve it? That's not the one I wanted you to attack, you... Damn, jackass. Is it something I can catch, or is it something that, um, that I need to evolve? Check if you could check that for me. There's something up ahead. Why don't you go and see? All right. Only way is through evolution? Okay. So I can't capture it. Oh! Oh, this is a perfect situation. Two Calmites. Fuck yeah. It is a rock psychic type. I would get rid of Pinky for the Comite. Maybe. Yeah. All right. I will. I will. I will. Um. I will insert a Dunsparce. I. This is. This is. A statement I will never thought I would say. I will put a Dunsparce into my party. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. You can retract its legs into its body and appear to be an ordinary rock. Stories say they arrived on an asteroid. Alright, what should we name this fucker? 
He's a psychic rock. Psychic rock, there you go. I wonder if Twitch is going to be angry about that one. I feel like- I feel like that's one of those things I could get in trouble for. If you were gonna go that route, I would have named it Shatter. Why Shatter? I'm gonna actually... A, a part, a, it's, I want to so badly to just get all my Pokémon up to level 15 here. Which I might actually do. <laughs> because... This is a great situation to be able to do that in. Playing term for... Wax... Concentrates? Okay. Let's do another... Let's do... Let's do a Fairy Wind. Oh, Fairy Wind's not both. Uh, we'll just tackle the fucking Dunsparce. I'll explain later. It's a stoner thing that I'm not sure Twitch is liking to. Ah. See, the funny thing is, is that... Um... I was really confused because the... Drug in the D&D campaign that you're gonna partake, partake in... There was, in the first town, they're already past the first town, but the first town had a drug problem and it was named Shatter. So that's, that's why I was so very, very confused. What the fuck is that? Wow. That thing just fucked Bugbear. Wow, okay. The fucking Dunsparce, dude. Is that the X-Blood Weird's adopted cousin? Yeah, I think it's the Inbred cousin. It's Redneck X-Blood. Whisper him, I suppose. Reduce tackles PP. I need to. I need all the PP I can get. You know, have you ever had a moment where you go, where you say something and you immediately go, I have made a mistake here. I, I, I have, yeah. I might replace Bugbear to be honest. Bugbear, no offense, is kind of shit. You <laughs> use a spite. Haha, <laughs> I take your PP. <laughs> yes, thanks. Thanks. God, why the rocks? Stop the rocks!
Let's lower your attack. Oh, I thought he was in the middle of rollout. What the fuck? I was lowering his attack so his rollout wouldn't get, like, hit me as hard, but okay. Don't raise your defense. You don't need to raise your defense. Just take him at the fuck out. Wait, homeboy knows rollout? Yeah, Dunsparce knows rollout, dude. It's the fucking mill tank of this game. Do I- am I gonna have to rename, uh, the Dunsparce that I caught from Shame to Homeboy? Well, that just makes what it turns it to 100 or 10 times more terrifying. What the fuck? You have now got my curiosity up to maximum. And I'm not going to be able to see this for like another week or two at minimum. Like, I so badly want to look this up, but I'm going to keep it for myself. Just so when I do see it, I will be amazed. Hold on, does it just grow? Does it just... Is it a... It doesn't look like a punch mimic. Does it just grow fucking, like, giant muscular arms and legs? Like, it has its normal body, but grows, like, muscular arms and legs, and that's it. Just if this is boring for everyone, I just want to get all my Pokemon to level 15. And this is too good of an opportunity to not do it. Just being able to automatically heal after all, every battle. Like, that's just... This is just the best situation to level up in. And it's not like I'm going to go crazy on it. If, it. if I was by myself, I might go up to, like, level 20. If I was by myself. Not streaming. But since I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold myself back. Ooh, Bugbear's trying to learn Stun Spore. Ooh. Oh, is this... Is this the Butterfree situation where he learns all three, um, all three powders here? Uh, I'd rather have Sleep Powder than Paralysis. Nope, just this two. Why would you need both of them? That, that's my thing, it's like, why would I need both powders? Get. Okay, so we have so we have just 
three more. We have Marshmallow, Koopo, and then Nut Boy. I do believe Marshmallow is going to be the hardest one to do, though. I'm... because of the fact that these are all not very good Pokemon for him to fight against. Stop being mean to Marshmallow. What has he ever done to you, guys? No, but holy stat total, if it was a real Pokemon, it might be banned. Seriously? Shit. Like, I know, th well, the highest stat Pokemon total is like 600 now. They actually gave a Pokemon 600 stats, like overall, in like one, in all stats. Or not 600 in all stats, but stat total 600. Or something like that. It is also a Pokemon you can't actually use, so... Why you mean to Marshmallow? Why are you so mean to Marshmallow? What has Marshmallow ever done? It, that has to be a meme. For the Dunsparce to evolve into a just god-tier Pokemon. That has to be a meme. Because of the meme of Dunsparce being a god-tier Pokemon. That's something I expect out of Pokemon Clover. But, uh, you know, whatever. I'm enjoying this. I'm, I'm... To be honest, I'm kind of ready for Pokemon and Zelda to be over. Um... I've I think I've played too many Pokemon and Zelda games in a row. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, that works. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm getting a wee bit burnt out on Stew Doo. Yeah. Well, I've been doing. How long have I been doing uh, alternating between Pokemon and then Zelda at this point? It's been a bit. Uh, I, I will, I actually, I'm actually curious on how long it's been since I started, uh, what was it, po did I start with Pokemon Yellow? I think I started with Pokemon Yellow, or did I start with, uh, Ocarina of Time? I can't remember. I think I started with Pokemon Yellow. That, that's, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna figure out tonight is... How long has it been since I started this series? Or these two series together? So, yeah, I've already spoken about my plans on what I plan to do after uh, Zelda and Pokemon. I plan on doing the Far Cry series with games in between every two games. After that, after I'm finished with Far Cry though, I'm thinking of doing the Stalker series. That might be fun. I've never played a Stalker game before, so... I will have to look up if I should, uh, mod it or not. Or if I should just go in raw. I'll have to look it up, see if there- maybe there's some quality of life mods that I should get. We'll see. Um, other than that... I'm- I'm kind of- so, I think my- my, uh, reserve list is like, 30 games right now, so... 
should be able to see most of the games that I'm going to be playing down in the panels, so... Either by myself with Blaze or however. Yeah, how long have you been doing Star Dude, uh, Brute? Since, you know, I'm just I'm just leveling up here for now. Oh, I get to all 15s. Like I can't. I cannot stress enough on how good this is. Especially with most of these Pokemon being ground type and my rival having a water type. Like it would be hell to get to this uh to this point with Marshmallow normally. But this, you know, I'm just casually doing it at this point. Yeah, so... Uh, I plan on doing Stalker series after the Stalker series. I don't know what series I'm gonna do. Get like a month and a half already. I was... Com I can leave the community center on stream, and that's... The plane at Austrium, and just now I'm getting into the new stuff, but fuck. Yeah. Do you have any mods installed? Are you just going straight vanilla? Marshmallow to 15. I wanted to use Ember on a fucking water type. Hey kid. Kid of Villanilla playthrough no mods. Ah. Poison Sting the Poison Pokemon. Okay, that's Marshmallow done. Okay, time to do Koopo, and then Nut Boy. Yeah, um... I don't know if I'll ever do Storm Valley. I don't know, I just seem... Like, I, I would rather think that I might go back to, uh... Doki Doki before I do, uh, Stardew Valley. Just because I know everyone else is uh, everyone else is doing Stardew Valley, so might as well not double up on everyone playing Stardew Valley and all that. Plus, it's one of those games that I can only play so much of before I just go, yeah, I'm kind of done with this. Look at it. both of the tone means are uh, paralyzing. We're both poisoned. Shocking. I was gonna be like, why would you use water gun? But lightning damage doesn't do anything extra to these guys, so they're pure poison types. So plus. The crowd with Stardew is pretty niche thing on here with my channel. Like, all Star will play it because people like it, but eh, yeah. Well, that's kind of what my entire channel's turn into, is really niche things. Like, let's be honest. Who's playing Pokemon Uranium on stream? Who's playing um, the, Z the Zelda games with crap? Well, okay, that might not be a good example. Um, who, who's playing, like, um, who played Doki Doki mods? Like, I'm, 
think very few people on stream did that. I know there's YouTube channels that do that, but on str like streamers that do that, no. Okay, that should be the last battle for Koopo, and it's double Dunsparce. Damn. Double Dunsparce, man. And I swear, the wing attack there animation is like the normal wind magic that you have in RPG Maker. Dude, I'm half tempted to do Mario 64 crowd control. I've seen people play it and it looks mad fun. I... Brute, I'm gonna tell you of a great sin. I have never played Mario 64. Yeah, see, so roll out. Yeah, I have I have never played Mario 64, and I likely never will. What blessed me? Did you just say? Whoa! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened to Koopo? I looked away, and all of a sudden he's just dead. Metal Claw? Oh, yeah. Rid of that tackle bullshit. Alright, well, Koopo's back, so... Oh, Koopo's already level 15. I'm messed up. Yeah, I've never played Mario 64. Um, I've never played Goldeneye. I've never played Goldeneye, either. Uh, what I've uh, what else have I not played on the sixty uh, and sixty four? Trying to think, bring up games that are on the N sixty four. I probably haven't played them. I played Pokemon Stadium, and that's about all I did. Oh, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Hey You Pikachu. I played that on the N sixty four. That was shit. Perfect Dark. Never played it. Dog, yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, keep on, keep on bringing up games, dude. Any of the Tomb Raider games? I've played Last Revelation, but I've only played the first level because I just never got into it. Okay, so you at least touched it. I've touched Last Revelation, yeah. That's the only one I've ever played, though, so... Uh, let's see, what, um... I've, um... Oh, here we go. Let's, let's start to get into the weird games I have played. I, on the Sega Dreamcast, I played a game called Slave Zero. I never... Never beat that game. I never beat the first. I never. I never. And uh, Slave Zero, or is it? I think it's called Slave Zero. I have never fought the first enemy in that game because it scared me. But I loved being in the mech, so I would walk around the starting area, causing a bunch of chaos, and is going. All right, well, I'm done now because I didn't want to do. I was scared of the enemies in that game. 
I was a weird wow, that just took out Nut Boy real hard. Um, let's see. I, my, one of my, so my favorite game of all time is Shadow Hearts. But another good contender is Jade Cocoon. And I've recently learned that they made a sequel for Jade Cocoon. And I was not aware of this. And now I want to play Jade Cocoon on stream, beat it, and then play Jade Cocoon 2. So that may be something that comes up. Jade Cocoon is a very weird game, but I loved it so, so much. It's so cool. It was one of the first games where you could... It's It was a monster capture game where you fought against the monsters too, but you could summon the monsters, and then you could also merge monsters together. And you could... It, it was really fun. And... The only thing Sega I ever played was Sonic Adventures 1 and 2 with Crazy Taxi when I was a wee lad. I've played I've played Crazy Taxi. I've played Crazy Taxi. Oh, that's not good. Um I've played uh Sonic. I've played I've played uh Sonic on the Genesis, I believe. I don't remember what Sonic is on the Genesis, but I played Sonic on the Genesis. Um, I played Sonic Adventure 2, I believe it was, on the GameCube. We're almost done with the grinding, everyone. I know it's been a painful 20 minutes, but... I'll probably edit this out of the, uh... I'll probably edit all the grinding out of the, uh, video. I do have the Sega collections here on Steam, since Sega was having a fire sale at one point, I could pick stuff from that. Nice. Um, I've never really been into Sega stuff, to be honest. And, and, like, what does Sega even do anymore? Like, they occasionally release a really terrible Sonic game. And other than that, I don't know what they do. Like, how is Sega still existing? I just thought, of, like, I didn't even think of this until now. How does Sega even exist? Like, I got some weird stuff like Space Channel 5. What the fuck? You want me to tell you, bro? You want me to tell what I'm hearing? I'm hearing weird Sega game night while drunk. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm not hearing a no. But anyways, um... Yeah, I, um... Uh, there was something I was going to talk about, and I can't remember now. I mean, Sonic Adventure 1 was fucking hysterical on its own, and now it's a j on its own with how jink of a game it is. Oh, jeez. I mean, it can't be as bad as Sonic Boom. How you could literally speed run the game by pausing the game. What is it? You could be like Knuckle Go Fly with Start Button, yeah. Knuckle Go Knuckle Go Vroom. You go swoosh. A ruffle the Raffle Copter finally got Knuckles. There you go. Nut boy, what the fuck is going on?
What the f- Have I just not been paying attention? And I got hit by a bunch of sand attacks or something like that? Oh, that's not good. No! Not boy. Now you take this son of a bitch out, it's funny because they patched it and it just turned out to be a pretty mediocre game afterwards. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, I I expect nothing out of Sonic games. No, let me, re let me rephrase it. I expect nothing out of official Sonic games. Fan made Sonic games, on the other hand. Alright, fuck it. We'll continue on if, if not Boy ends up uh, leveling up, he levels up. Yeah, um, what? What do you consider the last good Sonic? Even the cutscenes and how it loads frame by frame. Ooh, the T-pose is still haunting my dreams. Here, I have to ask. What? 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 Really, Nut Boy? God damn it. Um. What do you think was the last good Sonic game? Because a lot of people say Sonic Adventure 2. And I counter not including the first level. Ignore the first level, first level, and Shadow Garden don't count. Is it still a good game? No, better question. Do you remember anything else from the game other than the first level and the Shadow Garden? I was not boys evolving at level 15. Okay, wasn't expecting that. We got nut dog. Protects from recoil damage. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, dude, Sonic Adventure 2 is still dog water, man. Like, ye, you have a good couple levels here, and, uh, but uh, it's still pretty jank cheap. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, so what do you think was the best? Like, are, are we thinking back to, like, like early level, early Sonic, where it's uh, 2D, um, 2D Sonic is back when it was still good? Because in my opinion, in my unpopular, but true, opinion, Sonic was never good. There has never, in my opinion, there has never been a good Sonic game. Gonna just drop that there. And no, I won't explain. Actually, I'm curious. Hold on. Let's look at the Pokemon. See, I hate how there's a entry right here that lends credence to what you say, and it fucking ter terrifies me. There's probably another Evolve form, man. Honestly, the last one I'd say in recent history is Sonic Colors. That one is good, but anything with garbage, anything with the garbage boost formula. When you say garbage boost formula, what do you mean by that? Oh, 
Also, I've never played Sonic Colors. I don't know if that was evident, but yeah. I'm talking stuff like day, day stages of Sonic Unleashed. Okay, I... Uh. Ooh, that go lizard actually survived. Surprise, surprise. That tremor was nothing. We finally made it to the end. <laughs> well then. Fucking crap. Oh! A Turland card. Fucking level 22. Oh my god. Dude, the music has no... The, the music has no reason to hit this hard. The one where you essentially on rails and control Sonic with solar buttons and Sonic Unleashed half a Sonic gesture. Is this a legendary? I don't think so. This seems like, I, I think this is the evolved form of Go Lizard. Or Gar Lizard, whatever it's called. I'm gonna capture it. But yeah, from, uh, it's a evolved form of Dicklet. I think. Bang dude's not gonna hit Koopo. Oh, like a boss of some kind? I think so. Yeah, I think there's a Pokemon boss. Oh, there we go. Uh, Turland's two heads have completely independent brains and are prone to argument. That they, that they, even or ever manage to coordinate it at all is a miracle. All right, what do we, what do we name this? Band dragon. Oh. And worm. No, that's not how you spell it. Worm? Worm. There you go. Dick snake. Dick snake. Okay, was I correct about it being the evolved form of, uh... The evolved from Dicklet. I'm not too sure. I, I I think so. I'm fairly certain it's a evolved form of Dicklet. Yeah, it is. Hmm. You there? What happened to all the Pokemon that were going berserk? They calmed down. What? You fought a Turland? Th those are really dangerous. Hmm. That may have been the problem. When a Turland's two heads fight with each other, it riles up the other Pokemon in the area. Make sure bringing peace to the cave again. Now we trainers can go through without fear. Boom. Aren't I just a badass? Frustration. Don't worry. I know all about frustration. Why is there just a f moving flashlight?
Well... Yep, well, we're gonna catch the Fleshlight, so... Hey, Charm. How are you tonight? At this stage of development, both straws at Ted tele- I'm okay, how about you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Telekinetic powers are weak. It instead latches onto its foes and sucks out their life force. Let's see what else is here. Ooh. It's a... The ant? The bee ant. You know, bugbear's already slower than you, so you know what, oh, whatever. Keep using string off. That wasn't permission to sting, Bugbear. Pervert. Damn. Oh. Damn it, Bugbear. Yeah, um... How, uh, what have you been up to, Charm? Bug. Religious s'more and Splanet. Uh, Twicey is very hyperactive and loves nothing better than sneaking up behind travelers and scaring them. Spoopy. They like, they like scaring people, so it's spoopy. So we have Marshmallow, Spoopy, and uh, Nibbles. Those are the three little, uh, bug Pokemon I've caught. Oh, son of a bitch. If you ask me, I'm not asking. This is the prettiest route in Tandor. I'm not asking, nor do I care. Camper Alfonsi. Oh, a Mareep. That's a surprise. Look at that. It got the sleep powder off first. Holy shit. You know... Ah, oh, finally something familiar that isn't Dunsparce, yeah. That isn't Dunsparce or an Ekans. Something that's actually good. This is good. Y'all, I actually added a whole paycheck to my Steam account. Um... Charm? Why? How? And why? Would you do this? Were you buying porn games? Charm, it's okay. We understand. We don't judge here. Oh well, more games for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you I don't think you can get that money out once it goes in. I'm just broke for the rest of the week. I mean, what is broke other than, you know... Uh, you know, ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are, you know, a great source of uh, cal calories. They're not, but, you know, you can pretend they are. And rice. People don't take us campers seriously as battlers, but we love to explore and enjoy natural environments. You should take the time to appreciate Tandor's beauty. Yeah, no, I won't. Oh, uh, Roach Fowl Town.
I think you're getting contact Steam support to see if they can reverse it, but good lord, their customer support is garbage. Yeah. You know, Tandor was formed by two volcanoes. Both are dormant now, but the regional championship takes place over one of them. Ooh. I've lived in Roach uh, Fail Town since I was a little girl. The mounds are rough to live in, true, but I hate. But I'm hale and hearty as any young lass. Are you saying you're? Are you saying you're up for it? Blam, pow! I want to be a superhero when I grow up. Uh huh. Our Luna pup faithfully guards our house every night. On full moons, though, it won't stop howling. It's raining now. What the fuck? All right. Serene. Hey, it's like when I play Stardew. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to have to drop Bugbear. I think we're going to have to drop Bugbear. Bugbear is not that good. Uh... Just looking around to see if I want to swap out any more Pokemon. Um, I don't know. It'd be nice to have a Dark type, but I would have to get rid of like. Oh, here's what I can do. We're gonna be like, "Fuck you! You finish Community Center. I'm gonna force you to skip two days because because you're streaming." Yeah. We're gonna put in we're gonna put meth in. attack is higher than regular attack, okay. You know, honestly, I don't know why I'm keeping Marshmallow in my party. I feel like I probably could grab a better Pokemon than Marshmallow. Like, maybe Taz? Taz might be better than Marshmallow. But, but, Marshmallow is going to be my only Fire Pokemon, so no. It's amazing how the economy functions when half the population of a given region are trainers. Trainers who don't work. How would we even feed ourselves if we didn't have Pokemon to help? You know, he brings up a good point. When I was young, I lived in the big city. Now I like living here in the quiet countryside. I'm playing with my brother, don't interrupt. I'm training my Pokemon on my game, I'm gonna beat my sister at it someday. Those kids in their video games. When I was a kid, I played outside in the dirt, and we liked it. Brr, 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 brr. What is this supposed to be? One day, my son tried to go into the comet cave to catch his own Pokemon. I had to drag him back. Hopefully by the ear. My cousin over there is crazy about Pokemon, but never leaves the house. I wish he could get a job. Hey there, stranger. How are you? That's a that's a cute bag you got there. Wow. Hello, I'm a Pokemon enthusiast. I see you are a trainer. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for one Pokemon in particular. If I can't remember... I just can't remember what it was called. If you can help me, I'll give you a reward. It was sort of fat yellow snake. What was it? <laughs> he has a ton sparse? That's it. Wow, I'm so it's so cute. I'm so happy. This is the best day of my life. How can I ever pay you? This will have to do... Welcome back, trainer. You're just in time to you. I was looking for another Pokemon. The weak water type that gets really strong when it evolves. That's a magic harp. I know that one. The 
Tandor Rangers work tirelessly to protect the environment and the citizens of this region. Um, you're a trainer, aren't you? You remind me of my son. He's a trainer, too. He also ate paint just for fun. And now we all have lead poisoning. Yeah, that sounds like a real good time, Dad. Hey, are you a Pokemon trainer? Sweet, listen. How would you be interested in a trade? I'm looking for a Tufarang. If you have one, I'll trade you my apology. Sorry, are you trying to trade me? I'm not going to make that joke. I'm not going to make that joke. I'm not going to make that joke. Oh, God. Professor Jay, how unexpected. It's good to see you, mate. But unfortunately, now isn't the best time. There's been an emergency at Cypress Labs. We're all incredibly flustered, so I went out to try to do something. Although, actually, running into you now might have been lucky break we need. I can't explain it here. How about you come back to me with the lab? I'll introduce you to Professor Cypress, and she'll give you the lowdown on what's happened. Follow me. What if I don't want to... Ernest, you're back. Did you find the thief? Is this the kid? Listen, kid, you picked the wrong lab to break into last night. Wait, Lily. Hold on. This isn't the thief. This is Jay, my research assistant. They happen to be passing through town. They're a Pokemon trainer. Hmm, a Pokemon trainer. Are they trustworthy? Of course they are. They're my assistant, aren't they? Uh, besides, their father is Kellen, the ranger chief. <laughs> so you're Kellen's kid, huh? Well, I suppose I can trust you. I'm Lily Cypress. Why does that sound familiar? The Pokemon professor at this lab. Probably figured out what's going on by now. Last night while we were out, someone broke into the lab. They stole many of the Pokemon we were keeping here for research, but it's strange. They completely ignore the most valuable thing in here. They're on the table, the prototype Pokemon speech translator. I'm sorry, what? It's cutting edge technology. We've been developing there have been some there are some who would go to great lengths to get their hands on it. That's what we got us baffled. Why would someone break in if they weren't going to steal the PST? You're back. What did you find? I managed to recover one of the stolen Pokemon. This fellow was hanging out on Route 106. This is excellent. We have an idea. Let us use the PST on our twin to find out more about the thief. Scary. So scary. Was in my Pokeball asleep, saw me, and moving. But not human friend. Taken me and others out towards Mountain Cave. Got my Pokeball and got free. Towards the Mountain Cave. That must be on Route 106. Maybe the thief is still there with the rest of the stolen Pokemon. This is good. Lead someone to... Somebody give that Pokemon a treat for its hard work. Now, the question is, how do we catch this thief? They've got stolen Pokemon on them, so they could be dangerous. They can help. They're a Pokemon trainer. They even have two badges already. Is that so? In that case, Jay, you might be exactly who we need. According to Alatwin, the thief is still on Route 06 to the west. If you look into it, we'll be all be on your debt. In order to help with your investigation... Oh, I know. Why don't you borrow the prototype PST? That way you can talk to any other Pokemon you find to help locate the thief. Please be quick, we're all counting on you. I know you probably didn't expect to be dragged into this so suddenly, but Lily Cypress is a good friend and research partner. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. The fact that you showed up when you did, it feels like fate. Or like a game mechanic. Eh? Eh? According to Alatwin, the thief is hiding out in the mountain cave on Route 6. Yeah. Don't panic, don't panic, everything's gonna be fine. Eh, it'll be okay-ish. I'm a fossil re re revivification expert, however, now is not the time. Is this kid trustworthy? He isn't a thief? I don't know, Lily. Do you still get laid, laid because I'd say the way you treat people means you're less a faithful partner? Damn! Rude! What the fuck? Professor Cypress lives in Rochefail. I hear she does all sorts of projects trying to improve communication between Pokemon. I mean, Pokemon, yeah. Uh, 106. Or not 106, 06. Much of the mountains around here are said to be impassable, however, I am determined to scale them. Okay, good for you. What she was asking for, yeah, I'm bought. Game design for that is a little annoying. 
Like, if you're gonna have an option, you put the most common option first. Uh, okay, Chesto. Chesto Wemo. I was gonna see if I could do it on the other side, but I can't. Son of a bitch. I'm out in the field, but catching Pokemon for the professor is what's boring. Wanna fight? No. I'm on a job, dude. James not gonna win this. Shame. Uh, will you send out Kupo? Fucking hell. Uh, back to town to heal, I suppose. Yeah, I need to go back to town, too. Fucking shame just got his ass kicked. go here. You went bad. They seem unwilling to budge. No human, humans allowed. Oh. Okay. Well, this was that too savage. Dude, that was a that was next fucking level, man. I mean, this is essentially free experience for for shame. Oh, I might as I might as well use roll out a couple times and just, you know, fuck these out wins up. Or he's going to keep using charm and just keep lowering my attack. I wonder, oh, fuck, shame. What the fuck? Dude, you can't do that shame, man. You gotta keep, you gotta keep the ball rolling. Quite literally. And shame goes down. Shame, you done fucked up. I feel like that's- I really do feel like, uh, my, Meth's name is against TOS or something like that. Not that I care, but... Yeah, downside of Dunsparce is still of Dunsparce, yeah. I've noticed. Yeah, trust me, I'm- I'm aware Dunsparce is a Dunsparce. I'm- purely doing this because of your- I have no idea if you're just fucking with me. I really have no idea. You might be fucking with me, and I might have a level 42 Dunsparce later on. I promise you I'm not. Mm -hmm. We'll see. 
I mean, if you are, it's a good it's a good one. Oh my god. Why? Why? What dude? I I you know, I was thinking, okay, if this Dunspar starts pulling some weight. Forty-two is a specific. It learns a specific move that will trigger. Yeah, I figured. I figured it was a specific move at level forty-two. With how it was, it that seems like a. I remember other Pokemon being like that. Hey, okay, use the PST. How do you try to take me away? Take this. Come on, shame. You got this. I have no faith in you. Unless... I was gonna say, unless this next hit is a critical super effective, I don't... Wow, okay. What the fuck? Garlic... Gar... Garly... They use a PST. What are you doing here, human? Are you trying to enslave these Pokemon again? They have been freed from your clutches. They won't have your your prisoners anymore. Garlic Kid is here, the Pokemon hero. I found them in that horrible human place. It's Garlic Boy, and I liberated them. We'll fight for our freedom. Well, there goes Shame. Shame just got fucking kicked in the shin. Yeah, I was- that's- now that I'm looking at it, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of the one thing uh, Johnson's name is after. A uh, Foo Dog. Kind of reminds me of a Foo Dog. I also wasn't expecting Confusion to be super effective. I was expecting that to be a normal type. Minion. Is it going to be yellow? Oh, I was going to be like, is this going to be a yellow? Ooh. Oh, son of a bitch. That's not a bad sprite, to be honest. I'm not too, I'm not too keen about the ears. They kind of remind me a little bit too much of uh, Cell, but, you know. Bloodlust. You have a sneaking suspicion it's a dark type. I wonder me what makes you say that. Holy shit. Bash Chaff. Oh, that's a uh, evolved form of that one. Why is he fucking dabbing? Please, dude, you can't do that, man. Not in this fight. Garlic Boy team is cursed thanks to that thing alone. Yeah. You think? Okay, so he's only- he, he's gonna take me out pretty quick here, because that stomp does a lot of damage. Nine damage, yeah. God damn. Well, unless he misses a stomp. Oh my god, really? Two flinches in a row.
Let's see, let's make this a triple, shall we? No, okay. Oh my god. I'm glad I- I'm glad I used Leech Seed. Bone Claw. How many times has Stomp Flitch effect procted? Four, I think. What does Hong Claw do? Sharpens a claw. Um, I mean, I guess I could get rid of Scratch. Or, uh, and... I don't really use Scratch. I got Metal Claw and Vine Rip Whip. So I could get rid of that. Um... Uh, sure. Until something better comes along. Prepare to be destroyed. Our, like, we, we lost? But how? Why do those Pokemon fight? On behalf of humans. Don't they want their freedom? They're your friends? That's impossible. Pokemon and humans cannot coexist. Comrades, you're going back to that place. Why? Gur, you'll pay for this human. So as long as there are Pokemon that are being held against their will. I, Garlic Ki Garly Kid, a Pokemon hero, will be there to save them. I'll be back. Sure. No, but that's what I was saying earlier, is that it seems like um, things proc a lot more often in this game. Hey, you did it. We managed to recover all the missing Pokemon thanks to you. We follow behind you in case you need backup, but you did great. We saw everything that happened. Did any of you see that tiny green man in a costume run by just now? That wasn't a man. That was a Pokemon. Our thief was actually a Pokemon called Garlic Kid. They're incredibly rare. I haven't heard of one being sighted in many years. Its habitat is in a remote spot of the mountain, so it doesn't encounter humans often. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that one had never encountered people before. Garly Kid has a strong sense of justice. It must have seen the Pokemon in the lab and thought we were keeping them prisoners. I suppose they attacked because they were just excited. Perhaps Garly Kid has a point, though. From now on, we'll make sure our Pokemon has more freedom and we'll listen to it closely. Speaking of, as a field test for your Pokemon speech translator, I'd say this was a resounding success. I can see it becoming a very useful tool in the hands of a Pokemon trainer. So as thanks for all that you've done for us, why don't you keep that prototype PST? This is bound to give us some great field data. Just be careful with it, all right? We wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. If you need anything, we'll be back at the lab. Until next time. Jay, if this were a test, I'd say you pass with flying colors. You showed great intuition and resourcefulness. I say you were well on your way to becoming a bully fledged trainer, mate. Oh yeah, before I forget, have an item here that will help you on your journey. Oh, allows one of your Pokemon to hold that experience share and they will gain experience even when it doesn't participate in battle. Keep catching Pokemon growing stronger. Next gym is in Bale Beach, Bale Beach City, right? That's a long trek, so you better stock up before your journey. Happy travels, I'm rooting for you. Now I gotta get home to Moki Town. Let's fly, Pajay. I'm not in a good position to do battles right now. But I guess this will heal up Blaze. How much how much do I heal? Well, more than four? More than four. How many Pokemon does he have? He has three. Do I hear Shame's headpiece? Do I hear Shame's next headpiece? Oh, jeez.
Okay, so yeah, yeah he does four damage to that heal five, so... Cannot lose this fight. Okay. More trial. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was something, wasn't it? Ooh, that one did f six damage, I think. I think I healed six damage too, so. Twenty-two, do I go back to twenty-eight? Yeah, I literally cannot lose this fight. Don't you love Leech Seed? I love Leech Seed. I never appreciated Leech Seed up until now. Leech Seed has saved my ass more times, more than once. Do the choirs. He's a lumberjack. I don't get it. Alright, let's get Shame back up. Start leveling his dumbass. And hey shame, guess what you get? You get the you get the cone of shame. is a long road ahead. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Like, who are you? You're kind of cute. Love that shirt. Just love it. Oh, want a battle? Last Wilma. Ooh, a Flaffy. Yeah, I think my Pokemon are slightly underleveled. Because they're having level 18, 20 Pokemon at this point, and I'm still at level 15. So, something tells me I'm going to have to level my Pokemon up off straight. Wow, okay, that happened. Maybe rock throw? No, um, that's just just as ineffective. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to sit down and do. So, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to grind out a little bit. So I, I guess I guess I have my games for tomorrow planned out for me, huh? Grinding out my Pokemon to level twenty. At minimum. Who knows, I might go a bit higher. And honestly, level 42 is a bit of a way, but not so far away. I mean, kind of halfway there at this point. Uh, Luna Pup was weak to Psychic. Uh, whatever. Oh, that's not good. Okay, what typing would be weak to both Psychic and Grass? Fighting and... Fighting and water? Fighting and rock. Fighting and rock or fighting and ground? I'm gonna guess. Want to trade numbers? Yeah, I'm sure. Back to town. 
I just got my ass kicked. How you doing, Jay? Howdy. This is Wilmot. Isn't it nice? Have you ever hatched a Pokemon egg? I raised my Luna pup from an egg. You have hurt. You have to hear this. I battled uh, Clubby Fly the other day. It was easy. I had a type advantage. What level is Marshmallow? Marshmallow is level 15. What's O? O as in I should level them up real quick here on stream, or O as in I you're 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 fucking out of luck, buddy. Oh, then one more level. Oh, really? Well, he's got 19 experience to that next level. Guess what we're doing? We're leveling up Marshmallow tonight. He is going to be my only Fire-type Pokemon, too. Oh my god. Except he's so shit. Chipmunk. Make him sing songs about going around in circles. Maybe even spinning and around. And around. And around. Around. Oh, are you raising your special defense? I didn't I didn't even notice that until now. Fine, I'll just drop some fucking rocks on you. Never mind, you'll just do that then. Trying to learn incinerate. Yes, please. Isn't that 60? Yeah, 60. A little bit stronger. Uh, I'll get rid- oh, I'll get rid of Ember. Ooh, Marshmallow's evolving. Wow, that's a big fucking abdomen. Pyroki. Look at that. Fucking hell. Went from doing almost no damage to fucking just destroying with Incinerate. Holy cow. Hold on. Is he actually a fi bug fire type now? Or is he still a bug type? No, he's a bug fire type. Sniper. Damn. But that's his final evolution, isn't it? So, that means I probably should swap him out for another Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Just to see some more Pokemon. At worst, as I said, I can always just grind up Pokemon. So, I'm going to guess this is going to be a... Bug water type. You're a bug electric type. Um, who do we add back? Who do we add, I should say? I 
can add Taz. I mean, Bugbear is also a choice, I suppose. We can do Sock. Get a Poison Psychic type. Always add Nut Boy back. Um, Pikachu. Uh, maybe maybe Taz. Have a dark type. I mean electric ground. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll we'll take Pikachu. If Fakachu evolves. I'm gonna guess Fakachu does. But we'll, well, I'm gonna double check. No, he doesn't. Okay, fuck that. No, I'm not gonna take Fakachu. Okay, no Fakachu. Uh, I guess either, I guess it's either going to be Taz, Bugbear, or Nutboy. Or maybe Suck. Let me, let me look at the decks to see if Taz even evolves. You do... Does Taz even evolve? Uh, looks like it. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna take Taz, Bugbear, and Not Boy. Um, I kind of want to finish off Bugbear because I feel like Bugbear is gonna evolve soon, but who knows? Uh, Herb is also a choice, eh, kind of, I suppose. Cuddly, I don't really... Uh, we'll take... There we go. I made my decision. Anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it off for tonight.